oh, that's the lens. Oh, the lens is reacting. So when you push to the end, when you over push it, uh oh, it's like it's gone on some form of auto mode. It's coming in on its own. This is the test. Let's rack focus. Testing the new firmware. You get it? Yeah, I think we're good. This right here so I can see. Yeah, so I think we are sharply in focus. So now, that was the zoom focus, okay? That was the, uh, the focus demand. Let's do the zoom. Let's go over to the zoom. Are we ready? For the first time, I'm testing the firmware. It's moving. <laughs> it's moving. Wow. It works. Really? What? Let me back to focus. Oh my God. Let me back to focus when I do that. So I got both hands working right now. Oh yeah. We got it. Black magic. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll do a proper test later. I just couldn't wait to test it. I was away for a while and now I'm back and I just did the up firmware update. I'll walk you through the process and I'll do proper test and I'll actually take it out. Uh, I'll actually do a test on an event and I'll give you more update later, but we got it. What we wanted, we got it. Now, and we have this lens from 18 to 135. The only uh, downside is that um, it's not a constant aperture, uh, so that's the only thing. But besides that, it is the cheap option. It's a fairly okay, decent lens, more like the Micro Four Thirds um, zoom demand quality, you know. But it's a wider range and a more effective range than any of those Micro Four Thirds this, um, lenses that are available. I just love the 18 to 135. That's amazing, so this is good. If you got enough money, you could go get the 18 to 80, and then there's the 70 to 200, yeah. So 70 to 200 will be a better buy, along with this one. If, we, if I must pick one, I would rather go for the 70 to 200, so I'm gonna be looking out for that, probably. I'm excited that Blackmagic actually did it, and it worked. Could it be some of our videos? I saw my video and one other guy's video on, uh, on YouTube. Yeah, both of us, I think we are the only ones that have videos with the 6K Pro, uh, Studio 6K Pro. So, uh, so um, perhaps, perhaps they already knew, but perhaps our video helped where we said it didn't work. So this is a good one. I don't know how they did it. Uh, if they joined, you know, you know, collaborated with Canon probably but that's a good one we need more of this you know we need more of this so let's zoom in and rack focus at the same time let me see how well i can do do that let me move this guy and get the racking but i'm excited at this we have a lens this is what they need to do, and and I believe they are. Let's get the focus. Let's see, see how far. Oh my God, my face looks like a full Mm-hmm. My boom arm. 
so I can I can avoid that. And you can let's talk about the speed. push to the end when you over push it uh oh it's like it's gone on some form of auto mode it's coming in on its own <laughs> 